everyone, how you doing? I'm Julia. And I'm Gary. And for those of you who haven't watched any of our videos, we're traveling the USA and Canada this year in our motorhome. So before you can get over here, the first thing you've got to do is get a visa. And so what did we do for the visa, Gary? So for the visa, we went on the US State Department website, yeah. uh, followed the links. And what you're after is a B1, B2 tourist visa. Yeah, it's not an ESTA, which is just your three month, up to three month sort of uh, visit visa. This is a longer term and it gives you, what does it give you in total? So in total, it's a 10 year yeah. multiple entry visa. Uh, but you have to leave the country at least once every six months. Yeah, and you only have to go out for a day or so um, to re-stamp you back in, don't right. you? Um, but, it, it, but it gives you this visa for 10 years. Now, be warned, all my life, the process is, it's not for the faint-hearted, I can tell you. <laughs> That's for sure. So, <laughs> so set aside a day to fill in your online visa application and get all your bits and pieces together. Because we made a bit of an error, didn't we? We we didn't have everything together at the time. And it was a case of, oh, God, what's Dad's date of birth? I don't know. You know, he almost wants to know every single aspect of your life. He wants yeah. all your financial details. It needs everything. So it can it can identify who you are, what you're doing, and what your intention is, essentially. Um but we did it, didn't we? On we that, did. we we set aside a day when we weren't working, so a Saturday. And honestly, it is quite stressful. And but I mean, by the end of it, we kept getting bounced out, didn't so we? So it times out every sort of twenty minutes or so. So just remember, save is your oh. friend on that day. That save button literally saved us hours yeah, of doing it, it again. And, I mean, by the end of the day, I was like, oh, let's just do Europe, Gary. I can't stand <laughs> it. It was awful. Oh, it was. It, it was, was a long it was a old right day. Long day. Probably about um, three or four hours of filling in forms. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. if you know what you're doing, it's about three or four hours. <laughs> we blatantly <laughs> <What> didn't. didn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, th so that aside, once you've got that done, and honestly, the euphoria when it had suddenly <laughs> come up with, you know, the payment option, it was like, oh, thank God we can pay. Um, the, the, what you've got to remember is you don't get your money back. So once right. you've paid it, that's it, isn't it, yeah, Gary? Whether a, they give you the visa yeah, or not. That's right. So it's a it's $180 per person for the yeah. visa we went to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in total, uh, £291 at the current exchange rate of the, of the day. Uh, that's what it costs us. But yeah, like you say, you don't get it back if you get refused the visa. Yeah. So so you really need to be wanting to come um, unless you've got 290 quid to just blow, which I don't think, suppose many people have. Anyway, next thing's next. You get the option for your interview, don't That's you? Right. So the interview timing options. And we sort of mulled it over and thought, right, we'll go for an earlier time. So we got about a 9, 9.30. Yeah. Now, you can do it as a party. And we, oh, my gosh. So I booked one and he booked one because we were both filling it in at the same time. Um, for two people. But you can actually do it as a family, can't you? You can. Which, you know, they they... They changed it when we got to the embassy and made it a family application. Um, but just to be warned that you can easily go off track with that one, can't you? Yeah, yeah. it would have been a lot easier if we'd have done that first, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the next thing we thought about, right, OK, where are we going to stay? Um, how are we going to get down there? And it was all the train strikes, weren't there, in the UK? Well, yeah. still going on, I think. Um, but so we wanted to make sure we were there. So we thought, right, we'll stay overnight. And we stayed in Vauxhall, didn't we? Because we did. Vauxhall's your nearest station. And we just stayed in the travel lodge in Vauxhall, which was, it was all right, wasn't it? Was all right. It's a bit of a small room. And it overlooked a bus stop, you know, room with a view and all that. Well, he decides he was going to swan around half naked <laughs> most of the time. It's right by the window. I was like, what are you doing? Like, get away from the window, Gary. And he was like, you know, what would you say? I was saying, no, it's just one way or, it's, you know, it's tinted so they can't see him. Tinted, like it, it's travel lodge, of course it ain't tinted, is it? So anyway, he's he's swanning by the window. I was getting ready one time and then he was fully clothed, thank God. Um, and then somebody waved at you on the bus. I was just at the window, oblivious, just looking out of the view. Double decker bus went past and somebody goes, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, oh, they can see in this window. <laughs> well, I did think it is a window. Oh, um, so, gosh. so be warned if you are on the uh, bus stop side, don't be swanning around like it was. Um, <laughs> God. Uh, so, anyway, oh. we we decided we were going to do a recce that night. We did didn't that we? night before the interview. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and that, that was a good idea. So we yeah. walked around to the embassy, and a couple of the guards there were really helpful, weren't they? Yeah. And they gave us two really good pieces of advice. The first one turn up early 
So make sure you're there nice and early in the morning, mm-hmm. which, which we, we did. did. And the second piece of advice was don't bring a laptop with you. Now, we didn't have one anyway, but it we did see people in the queue getting bounced out of the queue and told, well, not like bounced, but they were told to leave the queue, go to another building, sort of, it was... It was literally, it was a coffee shop across the road that, yeah. did, that did lockers that yeah. you, could, you could rent out. That's so so they had to go there, lock it up in there, so you, you are not allowed to bring them into the embassy, so just be warned of that. So we went through, very, very slick procedure, very professional, mm. and then you go upstairs, um, once, once they've checked you all in, and it, it is quite lengthy, it took us about... I would say 45 minutes, would you? Yeah, probably about that. Yeah, to get in to the actual waiting area. Now, when you get to the waiting area, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's really nice. There's, it, a, there's a coffee shop there. Yeah, that um, was nice. Seats are very comfortable. There's lots of room there, so you're not crammed into, into yeah, a small area. There was loads of people, though. There yeah. was absolutely loads of people. Yeah. The toilets are immaculate. That's a very important thing. I, I like a nice, clean toilet. <laughs> um, so so we were called to, to one booth initially, weren't we? Yeah. Um, and we were asked a few questions. Mainly they want to know what you're doing there. You know, what, why are you going to the States? So uh, for us, it's it's quite simple. We're going to tour tour the States. But, you know, it's a very different thing. We're not looking to work. You know, we've, we're OK. So our financial details were already in the system. And they they know. They knew. They, they, kn- they know everybody's knew. stuff. Yeah. So, so, you know, the, the best thing to do is just be completely honest with everything on those forms and because they'll know anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we, we went and the, she sort of like labelled us together, didn't she? Batched yeah. us together and said to go and wait. And then you go to a second area. So there's a first area and then a second yeah. area. And we waited probably, what, about half an hour be- between the two yeah. interviews? Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah. And there's loads of seating area. I mean, some a bit more comfortable than others. Some were the, like, backless seats. Oh, I don't, I don't know why. Oh, God, <laughs> my back was killing me. Um, so anyway, we get called in, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, the guy was great. I mean, so professional, wasn't he? He was very good, yeah. Yeah, so he, he just asked us a couple more questions, reaffirmed who we were. I think it sort of helped that you're in the military and, mm-hmm. and you know that sort of side of life they kind of uh was very much tick 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 and that was it for us uh he he then took our our passports off us didn't yep. he and he said to us you know you'll get them back in a week and we were like does that mean we've got it like we didn't know and we were like oh god we've got it like, it's quite exciting wasn't <laughs> it was, <yes. laughs> um, so he he then took them and said it'll be with us within about a week but we'd already yeah. paid hadn't we we had we paid for the courier service to yeah. get our passports to us in, I think it was three to five working days, but something like that anyway. But it was, but it was a lot quicker than actually waiting for it to come back in the post or or having to, you know, collect it some other way. Now, the some of the things that we 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 need to cover now is the information and the documents you need to have with you when you go. Yeah. Uh, because if you don't have them, it's a wasted it's a wasted trip. So the first one is obviously your current passport. Mm-hmm. Uh, point to note on that is your current passport needs to have six months left on it when you get back to the UK after your trip. You've also then got to have your visa application confirmation page, which they call DS-160, mm-hmm. um, and you'll print that off and you'll, you'll get the links for that from once you've done the visas, etc. Um, you've then got to have one five centimeter by five centimeter photograph so if you go to a a photo studio or a photo you know shop Mm -hmm. they will know what size it needs to be but it's five by five if you for whatever reason have forgotten to do that though they do have a photo booth in the embassy itself the only thing i would say is you can't ever guarantee that they're working sometimes those photo booths aren't working that's right so it's it is better to bring it with you i mean we we went and got it done Uh, I mean, there weren't great pictures, were they? I mean, I always look like I'm out of prison cell block H anyway in it. You know, it's like, is my face that fat? You know, yes. it's when he goes, she doesn't look fat. Anyway, oh. so yes. Yeah, so. so that was it. And then you've got uh, a couple more things. So if you're married, you need your marriage certificate. Yeah. If you're taking children under 21, you need their birth certificates. Yeah. And so yeah, basically get all your documents, all your documents together. Um, they pretty much guide you through the whole the whole place it, it's really well organized isn't it yeah. i have to say yeah. there's a lot of people though is a lot of people in the queue um and then that was it a week later uh knock on the door i had my passports delivered and we both had the the visa stamp in it so it was no problem and fantastic yeah and it's we're good to go. yeah we're good to go so hopefully that's been of some use to you today um Hit the subscribe if you're interested in hearing some more of our videos. And also, we'll be covering a little bit about 
what to do when you get to the States, what's the most important things that you should think about when you get here. See you later. Take care. Bye. Bye.